Okay, guys, welcome to my world, but we have one massive problem. Well, not that. We have a cave over to our west, but it's a pretty long trek. It's the only lava cave within miles. So it's pretty important that we make our lives a whole lot easier. For lava caves have an abundance of resources like obsidian, copper, bright coal, among many others. And it's important we just make the journey a whole lot quicker. And I've seen some people on YouTube make monorails. I was like, that's an excellent idea. So thanks to these guys. And guys, we are so close to 10,000 subscribers. So hit that subscribe button if you want that. I was here before 10,000 subscriber ticket. Of course, if you somehow here after that, well, you could claim you were here before 100K ticket. Thank you. Let's get into this video. So we are doing this in survival. So we've got to mine all this stuff, obviously. So tires are no problem. That is also no problem. It's the ease now our problem, but we got, we got enough blasters where we can half decently, you know, start this. So we need a solid foundation to start. Well, I thought this was a great place and realized after I dismantled it, it wasn't flat enough. Now, there it is, it's there. Uh, we're, we need to farm some serious things, but I feel like the foundations need to be flat. Oh wow, this is this is actually really good. Okay, we can line ourselves up to that mountain there, I guess. Needs a support in peace, I don't understand. So you're telling me not being straight is a supporting piece. This has got to be a glitch, no? So after my initial annoyance, I found out if you lose this floor type, wood floor thin free, that's a mouthful, I was initially struggling to line them up. Well, I can save you the time. This button here, grid snap. Oh my God, it's beautiful. <laughs> okay. But then I ran into another issue. I'm sorry, what? It was needing a supporting piece. I was hoping that I wouldn't have to place like pillars every so often. That would take ages. But this piece I placed offset to it was all I needed. Oh my God, it's working. Oh my God, I got it. Oh wow, that's beautiful over there. What the hell's happening over there? All right, cool, we, we got this. And then quickly realized one issue that may become an issue is that I need to protect the base. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah, nay other problem. We need to build like a fence around us. I mean, it's literally supported by like one thing. If it gets knocked, the whole thing is coming down. We need to build a pretty decent fence around us. So after dealing with the skeletons, building walls, and of course the door so I can actually get in it, and of course placing some campfires, making it very bright, and checking there was no big enough holes for skeletons and stuff to get through. Or no, I'm just considering now that scorpions and spiders are a thing, and the crabs you might want to consider that for your build. So I need resources like wood, of course, for the builds, especially chilies for when it gets cold in the night, even if you're in a desert, unless you've got a charm for it, I guess you can do that as well. Of course, you're going to need axes as well as some weaponry for the way back. Also, what made this a lot easier was the fact that I already unlocked the glider. If I remember correctly, you need the rare pickaxe, the level three pickaxe to be able to farm cacti, and that's how you make the glider. Also, you need to be able to fabricate the fabrics of wool and silk. So it's quite late game. So you need to be able to turn flex wood into rods, as well as wool and silk, what you get from spiders and sheep, you need to be able to thread nose and then turn them to fabrics. So this does consider quite a good amount of farming. Oh wow, that's beautiful over there. What the hell's happened over there? So there's only so much of placing these floors I can handle. So I decided to work a bit on the actual train itself. I'm just being silly. Oh no, should we do the first bit first just to see if it works? So what we need to do is we need to make this like straight, I guess. Let's do it so I can like, get a ladder up to it at least. Is that straight? Oh my God, okay, we, need, we actually need some uh, ladders. Well, let's put us in a good position actually. I would actually prefer one more floor across and we will be golden. Grid it across. I didn't realize about the snap, man. The snap's OP. The snap is actually OP. Does it make a difference? I think this will work. I think it, we're fine. See, I think we're fine. Okay, I'm starving again. I forget to eat in this game. Hopefully it's not tight enough that it's destroying the tires. That could be the issue. This may be dicey when we do a test run. Um... I think that'd be fine. So of course, after a few more placing some floors and placing some more floors and then farming some more wood and then placing some more floors, we finally made it to a mountain that was tall enough to jump down and build a platform. So that's where we can build it, yeah? So I used one of the prefabs. This will also take a lot of backwards and forwards between the two positions. This will take actually a lot more than just wood. This will also need planks. Hello. 
After going back a few more times, I decided to abandon this and just build some stairs up to the top point of the mountain again. Yeah, and then... Yeah, that works. I mean, this kind of works. Yes. Oh, yes. We're getting there. We're getting there. Oh, my... Oh, my God. <laughs> And then we can, you know, we we assess when it comes. There we go. All right, final one back. Either this is gonna go so well, or it's not. Right. Oh my god, we're actually going to do this. We're actually going to do this. So the small one alone won't be enough to actually move this. You need a large one, which requires three wooden wads, two blasters, and one torch. And a switch which requires one wood and one blaster. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm hearing things break. Don't worry, it's just. Uh... Are these like taking damage? <laughs> okay, this is not as fast as I imagined, but you get the idea. I mean, it's faster than walking. You know what? I don't care about getting back. No, no, we're going for it. I don't care about getting back. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Now, we're, now we're getting speed. Right, yeah, we need to, like, farm, like, enough equipment either way. So, yeah, at intervals or at stations, you're going to need enough materials to get backwards and forwards. Okay, we need to start slowing down. You know what? I want to chance a little bit longer. Right, okay, and... Oh, it stops quite immediately, to be fair. Oh my god, <laughs> that's worked like a charm. So of course you need to unfortunately break the frosters to turn it back around. So at both stations you need to farm enough wood, blast powder and torches to be able to get you backwards and forwards. I am over moon about that little contraption. But I think if you get a system in place, and of course you're playing with your friends in a server, this will be pretty easy to achieve. So every time you travel, make sure you're also getting replacements for your thrusters and indeed other stuff. I can't wait to make more rail lines to make traversing this map very easy. And of course, improve some of the stations, make them really realistic looking. But oh my God, this has been a really, really fun video. I love doing this monorail. And so many more ideas I'm going to do on this channel. So if you want to stay tuned for them, please subscribe to the channel, like the video. We're on a road to 10K. Hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. And thank you to all the members this month. I really appreciate all your support. Until next time, it's your boy, Mr. J.Y. It's next time. Bye-bye.